people welcome back to my channel and welcome back to episode two of my top five series <laughs> If you're new here, hi, my name is Zoe. Welcome to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. I would love to get to 1,500 subscribers. Feels like I'm never gonna get there. I feel like my channel is just so dead at the moment. But I'm really trying my best with videos and I've done like a full on video plan and a schedule and like everything like that. Like I've really got things planned out and everything. So you should be getting many more uploads from me. Um, but I would still like to get to 1,500 subscribers and if you want to join my hashtag onion ring crew then do hit that subscribe button and you are automatically part of the hashtag onion ring crew. If you're not new here and you have been watching my channel for a while you will know that I have kind of like a different setup. I'm usually sat on the floor with my camera a lot lower but I have a desk now which is just a godsend because I've wanted a desk for the longest time. Um, and it means that I've had to get rid of like my table and the drawers that I had here and everything uh, and I used to use the table that I got rid of to put my camera on to film my videos and this is the best that I can kind of come up with at the moment um, I'm not sure how to feel about it, a part of me really likes it and then another part of me just really doesn't so I don't know, like, I could try and film from sort of behind me and like turn it around, like I don't know, maybe I'll try that one time. I need to figure out my new filming spot basically, but this is what we're going for for today. <laughs> so if you don't know what my top 5 series is, it's basically me uploading a video every Friday, doing some sort of top 5 list. Last week I did my top 5 flat rides uh, and it went down a lot better than I expected, so I thought I would continue on the series. And today we are doing top five worst rides. I feel like I'm gonna get so much hate for this video. Uh, and some of these are very controversial, especially one of them. Um, so please don't leave any hate in the comments. If there is any hate, I will literally just like remove it. Um, or I'll just switch off the comments. Um, this is just my opinion this is just what i like and what i don't like um and i have come up with one good thing about all of these rides because you know i don't want to completely like slate them like i do love rides and roller coasters and roller coasters and whatever um so yes please just if you don't like my opinion the, there's a door here like go out of the door and just yeah you know, we all have different opinions, we all have different tastes, uh, so please don't hate me and please don't judge me. <laughs> okay, so number one on the list, I'm so scared to even put this in the video because I've got so much hate for it in the past, uh, but my worst ride I have ever ridden is Nemesis at Alton Towers and I know so many people just love that ride and it's some people's favourite ride in the country and some even like in the world but honestly I just can't seem to like it and it's so annoying like I want to be able to like it and I've honestly tried so 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 hard every single time I go on Emesis I go on it with an open mind and I'm like right yes this is going to be a good ride I'm going to enjoy it I'm going to come off I'm going to want to go on it again like I'm going to today's the day that I'm going to like Nemesis and it just never happens and it's so frustrating I just really don't like how forceful it is like I don't mind a bit of force like here and there especially like when we're going sort of around that helix the force is just way too much for me and I just really don't like it it's too intense um, just again it's that kind of helix bit I think is the worst part for me it's just way too forceful it's way too intense for my liking it's really uncomfortable for me I do like the fact that it is inverted because I love SLCs um, and I do like the inverted sort of concept but it's I don't know just I don't like this sort of inverted it's just not comfortable for me and um, especially on the first 
drop thing. That is one thing that I really, really, really don't like about Nemesis. It's the fact that it doesn't have a proper drop. It's like, you go up the lift hill, and then you go into a little dip, and then you go straight, and then you go into a drop, and it's like, oh, it's just that sort of like dip and then it goes straight it just proper like i don't know i feel like i'm getting thrown around but like not in a good way and like oh it's just so uncomfortable like i hate it so much um and yeah i just really don't like nemesis <laughs> I think I also don't like that I don't know what's coming up as well because it's like if you're sat anywhere apart from the front row you can't really see what's coming up next and all I can see in front of me is just this like row of seats and I don't know it's just not a very like nice view and the fact that I don't know what's coming up like I'm someone that needs to know what is happening what's coming up next so I can like prepare myself for it but I don't get that with nemesis so it's like you know it just i just really don't like it i always come off with a banging headache and i always feel so ill after it as well like it really bashes my head around i find it really rough um i just don't like it and it's so annoying i wish i did but i honestly i just really don't <laughs> one good thing i've picked out from nemesis is the fact that it is inverted like yes it is uncomfortable but i mean it's still inverted so you know looking at the positives i also think it looks quite impressive off-ride as well like with the theming and everything like it is really good but the actual ride in itself, I just really don't like. It makes me feel dizzy. I get a headache from it. It's uncomfortable. It's rough. It's too intense. I just don't enjoy it. So I'm really sorry to all of the Nemesis fanboys out there, but... I just don't like Nemesis and that is that. No one will ever be able to persuade me to actually like it. It's never going to happen. I keep trying but it is just not going to happen. So don't even try and make me like Nemesis because honestly I will just get so pissed off at you um, because I have my own opinion and I just don't like it and I shouldn't be forced to like it just because everybody else does, you know? So yeah. Nemesis is number one and I just don't like it. <laughs> the next ride on my list is Shockwave at Drayton Manor. Again, I'm kind of not sure what people think about this one. I feel like I've heard very mixed reviews. I feel like some people like it, some people don't, some people hate it, some people love it. I don't know, but personally, I really don't like it. I only got this cred last year um, and I was kind of expecting more um i just really don't like how rough it is like it's so rough and it's so much more rough than i was expecting like i kind of expected it to be a lot smoother than it actually was i also find shockwave really uncomfortable as well like the restraints are so weird so like you get into the train and then you kind of have to like you almost kind of sit down on this thing, but then you kind of don't. You kind of stood up at the same time, if you get what I mean. And then you have like one bar that kind of like, one over the shoulder is straight and that pulls down and then you're kind of like sliding into the other one. It's really weird. I feel like you haven't got a lot of like arm room. You've not got a lot of like shoulder room. So like overall, it's just not very comfortable. I also feel like the restraints are like really big as well. Um, Even though you've not got a lot of room, there is a lot of kind of Space in between the restraint here and then how far it actually comes onto my like body um so it's like whenever i'm going through the inversions i just feel like i'm gonna fall out like i have to hold on so tight and if you're a small person it's so scary because you feel like you're gonna fall out obviously like i know that i'm not gonna fall out and i know that i am perfectly safe but whilst I'm riding it, all of that just goes out of the window and I'm like, I'm going to fall out, I'm going to fall out, I'm going to fall out. And then I get anxious that I'm going to fall out and I'm not enjoying the actual ride experience. I think the layout of Shockwave is really good and I do like how it looks off-ride, like it looks really impressive. I also do love the fact that it is a stand-up coaster because it's the only stand-up coaster that we have in the UK. Uh, and I think they are quite rare now for just like the entire world. Like, I don't know of many stand-up coasters. Um, but I think it is really nice and unique for the UK to have a stand-up coaster. Um, 
but it's just not really for me. I think if the restraints were a bit different, maybe I would enjoy it a lot more because I do like the views that you get because it does go quite high. Like the views are incredible. And the first loop isn't too bad. It's just anything after that. It's just a horrible ride and I honestly really don't like it. I also don't like how sharp the brakes are as well. Like the brakes are just very sudden and you're going into them with like a lot of speed. So I'm not a big fan of that either. And again, it's kind of like my nemesis. Like I come off and I feel so dizzy and just like disorientated and like not with it at all. Um, and yeah, like it hurts my legs a little bit as well. I think because I'm like tensing myself um, because I don't want to fall out so I'm holding on super tight my whole body just goes really sort of like tense and tight um, so whenever I come off I'm like my whole body is just aching um, if you're sort of like a bigger person and you are taller I think you might enjoy it a lot more um, but for a small person like me it's just not enjoyable and I find it just I don't mind being scared on roller coasters because that is the whole point of going on a roller coaster is to be scared and get your adrenaline going but it needs to be like a good scared when I'm on shockwave I don't feel a good scared I feel like scared scared so yeah not the biggest fan of shockwave at Drayton Manor the next ride on my list is in the night garden at Alton Towers now I went on this uh, fully thinking it was going to be as good as Dora's World Voyage at Blackpool Pleasure Beach because I love Dora's World Voyage so 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 much like it's one of my favorite kids rides I love it so 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 much um, and I've heard really good things about In the Night Garden like people really rave on about that ride and they really hype it up and I went on it for the first time on opening weekend last year in July uh, and I was just so disappointed. I was so underwhelmed. I just think it's really boring. Like it hasn't got as much theming as Dora's World Voyage. The audio isn't as good. It's really creepy. I don't know how children can watch that. Like this is just with like any children's TV shows. Like I see it sort of pop up on like social media, like with the memes and everything, or like on YouTube, sometimes it'll just pop up with like a Thomas the Tank Engine episode, and I'm like, how the fuck did I watch that stuff when I was a kid? Because now I just find it so creepy. I think Iggle, um, what's his name? Is it Iggle Piggle? Like the blue guy. He is so creepy, like with this freaking red like towel blanket thing. Like, what is all that about? And then those freaking, oh my god, what are they called? Those like, they're like nude colour. Um, oh, I forgot what they're called, but I'll put it I'll put it in like the overlay of what I'm talking about. But I just find the whole thing really creepy and just not nice. Like it just doesn't sit right with me. That whole ride just doesn't sit right in my brain and I just really don't like it. I also think the fact that it goes so slow as well. Like I know it's meant to go slow, but I mean, this just goes like 0 0.5 miles per hour. Like, it's just so slow. It's not exciting. The theming really isn't that great. I think the theming is a bit random as well. Like, you kind of have a phase where you have quite a lot of theming. And then you have nothing. And then you have theming again. And then you have nothing. Like, it's just so weird. Like... The consistency isn't that great, whereas with Dora's World Voyage, there's theming like everywhere and it's really bright and vibrant and it's just like nice. Like, I know I keep comparing it, but they are very similar rides. But yeah, I just, I really don't like In the Night Garden. I was very unimpressed when I went on it on opening weekend because I really hyped myself up for it and I thought it was going to be really good and I came off and I was very underwhelmed and disappointed. Uh, one good thing I would say is that I guess it is good for little kids um, because it is just slow and nice and relaxing for them and I guess if you kind of just want a break from like thrill rides and everything it is a good ride to go on but personally I just get really bored on it and I would rather go and spend my time on like Get Set Go Treetop Adventure or Octonauts or just any other ride in CBB's land, basically. So I need to do a video where I rank all the CBB's land coasters, uh, coasters, um, rides. But yes, 
in the night garden really doesn't do it for me. <laughs> The next ride on my list is Hex at Alton Towers and I feel like a lot of people will agree with me on this or not. You know what? I have absolutely no idea but I just really don't like Hex. I've only been on it once so I guess it's a bit unfair for me to sort of judge it just after one ride but I just don't feel the need to go on it again and I think that kind of says it all for me. <laughs> the only way I can describe Hex is just boring. Like, I went on it for the first time in September last year on the opening day of Oktoberfest and I just got so bored. I was like, why am I wasting my time in here? Like, what is going on? I'm just so bored. I think the pre-shows are quite good. Um, I think if you are not an enthusiast and you don't really already know the backstory, I think you could maybe get a bit confused like with the pre-shows and everything um and then that story is just going to go like out of your mind as soon as you come off hex um but i've heard that story so 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 many times um and i've gone to visit the chained oak tree as well um and yeah it just doesn't do anything for me it's just really boring but i find the same with like impossible as well i think any sort of madhouse they are just so pointless and so boring like i think the whole concept of it is good the fact that like are you spinning is the room spinning like the whole kind of like how it's done i think it's really clever but it's just so boring like you're just sat in this like bench and then you just spin around and it's like i don't know it's just boring that's the only way i can describe hex it's just boring like it just doesn't do anything for me uh, one good thing about it is the theming is decent and like it does have a good storyline to it whereas Impossible like doesn't really have a story to it whereas Hex does um, but that doesn't take away the fact that once you sit down on that bench and then you start kind of going it does get boring and it makes me feel dizzy as well um, but like not a good sort of dizzy um, so yes again I was very unimpressed and very underwhelmed when I went on Hex for the first time because I feel like it has been very hyped up and I came off and I was like what was that I feel like they could literally get rid of that and put something so much better in its place but then I feel like Hex is such a classic for Alton Towers and just it does have a lot of history to it but I would not be bothered if they got rid of Hex um, yeah not just no <laughs> and the final ride on my list is the waltzer in not not in south pier at on on south pier on south pier <laughs> so the final ride on my list is the waltzer on south pier in blackpool i went on the waltzer for the very first time uh on south pier in august last year it was the day before my birthday i went on it with one of my best friends Stuart, and we absolutely hated it i've been on waltzers on clacton pier i think it was uh and they weren't actually too bad and i didn't mind those as much i didn't love them but it, they weren't as bad as the ones on south pier this was probably the worst ride experience I have ever had. I'll probably even go as far to say that this was worse than Nemesis. I should have put this at like the top of my list. I just find these waltzers so uncomfortable. And again, it's that thing of having like too much force thrown at you. When you're like spinning so much and then the actual platform is like going around as well there's just so much spinning going on and then so much force is just thrown at you and it really hurts my neck and um, i think because the car is kind of quite low my neck doesn't like it kind of goes above where the sort of car is if that makes sense um and it just feels like my neck is gonna just completely snap off like whenever i get so much force thrown at me on that waltzer i kind of just get like thrown back like this and then it just really hurts my neck so 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 much i think if it didn't hurt my neck as much i wouldn't mind it but when i went on this waltzer 
my neck was in so much pain and Stuart said the same as well like it just oh my god it's giving me nightmares like that whole ride experience was horrible I also don't like how on these waltzes you don't get any control of like how much you spin I know it sounds really weird but like one of my biggest fears in life is just not having control over anything um, and I just don't like the fact that you can't control how much you spin and um, you can't control like how fast it's gonna go like it's just you can't control yourself if that makes sense I can't move my neck or like my hair like my upper body just stays still and my neck is kind of like all the way back here and it's just so uncomfortable like you honestly wouldn't believe how uncomfortable it was for me and Stuart <laughs> It also doesn't feel very safe as well. Like, I honestly thought I was gonna fall out of those waltzes and I had no doubt in my mind that I wasn't gonna fall out. Like, I was so certain that I was gonna go flying out of those waltzes because our bar was like so high up. There was no point in it even being there because it wasn't down at all. It was just so high up. And it's like the staff members just didn't put it down at all. Um, so that was like actually quite scary the fact that me and Stuart just tried to hold the bar down um, because it was just up so high and like it wouldn't come down any lower it was so scary and so weird um, so it just doesn't feel very safe when you're like spinning so 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 much and then this bar you, you have like nothing holding you in um, it's very scary <laughs> I also don't like the fact that it is too loud as well um, I really don't like loud noises um, and like I do understand like it is sort of a funfair ride so obviously like it is gonna be loud but I just think the music is way too loud it's like blasting out you can really feel the whole like vibration of a waltzer um, and the whole just sort of like ride machine is too loud as well for me um, and yeah, I can't deal with loud noises. It's just how I am. Like I hate fireworks because they are so loud. And I hate when music is like blasting out. Like it just hurts my ears. Like it physically hurts my ears. Um, so I really don't like how loud the music is in this waltzer. I don't like how loud the machine can be as well. Um, yeah, it just, the whole thing just brings back nightmares for me um and whenever me and Stuart talk about it we're like oh my god I now have nightmares about it um because it was just the worst ride experience I've personally ever had um and I never want to do a waltzer ever again after that like it's really put me off doing waltzes um so yeah I just oh my god I hate those waltzes so much <laughs> I forgot to say one good thing about the waltzes is I do think it looks impressive off-ride and I think uh, especially through a camera it can look really impressive off-ride um, but the actual ride experience is absolutely terrible <laughs> so there we go those are my top five worst rides like I said at the beginning please don't hate me please don't throw loads of shade and judge me for it this is just my opinion this is just what I don't like some of these rides I don't like because I'm a small person so it just doesn't really work for me um, and you know I can't help that and I can't help how I feel about rides like I either like them or I don't I have my own opinions and I like to stick to that like just because everybody else may like Nemesis or Shockwave or whatever doesn't mean that I'm gonna like follow them and then also like it as well like I have my own opinion and I'm happy with that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you guys next time for a brand new video Bye. Cause ain't nobody like me. Ain't nobody like me.